uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in previous couple of videos where we were discussing about graphql so this particular structure we have already covered like we created a schema we created the resolvers and we were able to get the data from mongodb so we were using mongoose module and we were doing a read and write we did it with a cat service but you can you can increase a number of uh, models in the mongodb and you can do the same queries and mutations and write the methods now there are a couple of things which we can enhance in the further videos first of all splitting these resolvers into the multiple chunks all right we don't want to write all the resolvers in a one particular file write all the particular resolvers all the particular definitions so let's say we can define them in a separate separate models same thing we can do with the types these types also can be splitted like user types will go in the user folder uh, customer type will go into the customer folder product type will go into the product type and similarly we will create their resolvers in a separate separate folder and then we will combine them to the root resolvers and the root query this is our next plan so that we can also do with a simple mongodb as a data source and then in the further videos where we talk about little bit advanced okay how to write <coughs> node.js applications where you are reading the data from the mysql postgres or something there you need to use some kind of orm there we will replace it with mysql and here we can add a library like type orm or a sqlize to deal with to do the query to the mysql we will talk about the migrations authorization authentication currently every user is allowed to make a call right but in the later cases you will actually call the resolver method but before going to the resolver we will validate the user authenticity okay for that we will create a authorization resolver if user is valid user is having the proper authorization had a token then only we will allow user to actually hit our database query and get the data so this is the beginner part which we have already covered now it is divided into the two parts in the next coming videos we will talk about uh, mongodb with the graphql mutations and queries where we will split the resolvers we will split the schema definitions that is a you can call it as a step or phase two in phase three we will talk about full-blown applications like blog user command multiple entities will be there in the mysql and you will be doing the queries and mutations from the graphql client okay so that is our the next target for coming videos okay so stay tuned guys uh, thanks everyone 